What's up, fellas? So a lot of guys been requesting me to make this video, so I'm going to go and make it so I can shut y'all on up. All right, guys? So this video is about the bagel shop guy that lost his mind because women don't give him the time of the day because he's short and all this and that and other. All right, guys? So if you watch the video, what's the first thing that he's talking about in the video? He's talking about he's short. And he's talking about women online are telling him, that he ain't worth dating and all this, all right? So right off the bat, guys, let me tell you something right now. If you pre predominantly use online dating, you are going to fail, all right? This goes for even if you're tall and gorgeous, you're going to fail. When you use online dating, you, you, you lose your greatest asset as a man, your confidence and your personality or charisma, however you want to phrase it, right off the bat. So if you guys that want to be lazy and just do online dating, granted, it's a good tool. All right? It's a great tool. How I use online dating, guys, is I set my profile up and I let women flirt with me and I go on there to check which women like my picture and stuff. And even then, when I hit them, send them a message, they don't respond. So there you go. All right? So that's what, that's what, we, that's what you're dealing with. When you deal with online dating, women go on there, they wing and they flirt and they do all this. And then sometimes even then, when you respond, they gone. All right. This is the fickleness that you're going to deal with online dating. It should just be a small tool that you use. Get out and meet women. All right. Because your greatest asset as a man is going to be your confidence and your personality. Women are not like us. I right, online they like us. I right, online they just like us because that's all that they got. That's all they have to go by. What else I'm gonna go by? All right, online a woman all she got is physical, your height, and some of them even have how much money you make a year. All right, so that's all they go by. All right, and so and even even for you guys that like to lie about your height and stuff like this, women and got hip to that. And so most times they already subtract like two or three inches from your height. So if you get online and say you 5'10", a lot of women say, okay, he's probably 5'8". All right, women and got hip to that. So for if you gonna, if you want to lie and say you're 5'10", you better put like you're 6'2", or 6'1", or something. All right, because women, a lot of women automatically subtract two or three inches from your height. All right, so that's the number one thing I saw right off the bat, guys. Online dating is it it, it 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 puts women in a position to where they act just like us. All right, and in the real world, women use much more than physical and height and stuff like that. All right, the second thing, guys, is life's not fair, guys. What do you want me to say? All right, is it fair that whenever I go to a black establish, establishment in Harlem, that I always, when I use a credit card, that I have to show ID? All right, but when I go in the city. Where it's mostly white people, I don't have to show ID. All right, is that is 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 that fair? All right, is it fair that a basketball player makes more probably in a game or a couple of games than you'll make in a lifetime just because he can put a ball through a hoop? Life's not fair. I'm not gonna kid you guys around and act like being short is not a disadvantage, cause it is. All right, but in life we all have disadvantages. All right, you listen. It is what it is. Listen, Biggie was not the most physically aesthetic pleasing person, all right? But he, he made what he had, and he worked with it, and he overcame it. If you're short, you are at a disadvantage, all right? If you approach 10 women, you might get rejected more than me, so you might have to work a little harder. Big deal. Maybe you have to approach more women than me. Big deal. All right. Some people are born more intelligent than others, and that allows them to make more money than others. Some of us have more personality and more charisma and are able to make more money than others. Life is not fair. Get over it. All right. I started my hairline started receding when I was 14 years old. It was already thinning. All right. When I had a fade, I was already it was already thinning. 14 years old, all right? I'm still going through puberty, and I'm receding, my hairline receding already. Life's not fair, all right? So for you sit around, because I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of short guys going to come on this video with their little short pajamas on, stumping their feet, mad and crying and this, that, and the other. Life's not fair, all right? Look at Kevin Hart. He's short, 
all right? But he got on his grind, and he did what he had to do, and he made himself a high-value male. Now, he could would, would Kevin Hart have that woman he's with that he's married to if he was Kevin Hart, the construction worker? No, he would not. And uh, I guarantee you, if you went to ask Kevin Hart that, he would tell you, no, I wouldn't. Would Biggie have married Faith if he hadn't got on his grind and made it? No. And I guarantee you, if Biggie was alive today and you asked him that same question, he would tell you no. If he was Biggie, the subway worker, no. All right, guys. So get on your grind, all right, and make yourself into something. Stop crying and complaining. Life's not fair. It is what it is. All right, I wish I had a 48 vertical, 48 inch vertical so I could play basketball like LeBron James. I don't have it. I'm not finna sit around and pout about it either. All right, guys. And this is the next one is the, probably the biggest one. All right, so it's time for me to get real with this one, right? Because this is just this is just the truth, guys. Most of you guys watching this video right now, you will have to have your stuff, your finances in order to attract women. You know, dating coach is gonna say using money to attract women is beta male. It's being a beta male. Guess what? 90% of you guys watching this is beta males. And I and I challenge those same dating coaches who want you to turn into these smooth talking dating coaches. I mean these smooth talking lady men, ladies men, I challenge you to tell them this. Next time they point that out, I want you to say, hey. Why don't you have de de develop a better delivery like AMS? All right? They can't do it because this is a gift, guys. All right? Do y'all guys know why my channel is so much, why I get so much more views than the other dating coaches? Y'all ever thought about that? Is my, sh is my methods that much more superior than theirs? That they get three, 4,000 views and I get 70, 80,000 views? Is what I'm teaching over here that much more superior than theirs? Am I the only dating coach teaching self-improvement? No. Well, why am I getting, why am I so big over them? Y'all want to know why? Y'all want me to tell y'all the secret? Because I'm going to give y'all a little secret right now. I'm going to tell y'all how YouTube work. This is how YouTube work. Let's say I make a 10-minute video, and let's say they make a 10-minute video. Let's say I, my 10-minute video, the average person watches the video eight minutes. And let's say they 10-minute video, the average person watches it two minutes. Guess who the algorithm is going to push. That's how you found my channel. Because the algorithm pushed me because my watch time is much higher than theirs. All right. What I'm teaching over here ain't that much superior than what anybody else talking, if at all. The reason why my channel is bigger than theirs is because you can stand to watch me because of my delivery. This is charisma. The way I talk to this camera, this is charisma. They trying to teach you something that you just don't have. They trying to turn you into a sweet, trying to, and I don't know if they do it purposely. I think most dating coaches think that, well, since I can do it, I can teach it. If, if, if they think it's that easy, then tell them to develop a better delivery so you can watch their video longer so their channel can grow. They can't do it. See, guys, how I break down charisma, I break down charisma in three categories. You got the uh, sexual charisma with females. You got the friendly charisma that helps you develop friends. And you got the entertainment charisma, which if you're somebody that, you know, entertains people or talk to people. All right. Charisma. Like some like like Martin Luther King Jr. or uh, Malcolm X. The reason why they was chosen to, you know, be the leader was they delivery, guys. It was other guys. It was other reverence and stuff. It was other people that... They was chosen because of their delivery. They can capture your attention, all right? The other dating coaches can't capture your attention because they don't have this type of charisma. So you might be somebody that is good at making friends, but you suck with women. You might be somebody that's good with women, but you suck at making friends. You might be somebody that's good with women and good making friends, and then you get on YouTube, and then you suck on YouTube. Because you don't have the personality for this. So you got the personality to make friends. And you have the personality or the charisma with women to seduce women. But then you go and make a YouTube video and then you suck. Nobody can't watch you past 30 seconds. So your channel won't grow. Alright guys. So that is the thing with that. And so 
the just being point blank, some of you got most of you guys will not be able to attract the quality of woman you want without having your stuff together. I don't know what what else do you want me to say. I don't I, I don't know what else you want me to say, guys. I'm not a dating coach. I, I I classify myself, but I really don't consider myself a dating coach. I call myself a self improvement coach because everything that I talk over here is based around self improvement. All right, the self improvement is going to improve your confidence, improve your charisma, but even then, it's capped. It's only so be so good that you can get at it. If you're a dude and you absolutely suck charisma wise with women, maybe you can improve it a little bit, but by and large. You know, it's, it is what it is. You can improve it. Just like if you go to the gym, you can get stronger. You can improve your charisma. But to think that you're going to go to this sweet-talking ladies' man is absurd. I'm telling you that right now. It, you can improve it. But to think that you're just going to become this Romeo Casanova dude, it ain't happening. You ain't blessed with that type of charisma. All right? I was blessed with this. This is a gift, guys. All right? This is a gift from God. I didn't take no classes or nothing. Just when I talk, it captures your attention and you can watch the video for whatever reason. Well, you think I'm funny? I don't care. It don't matter what the reason is. The, re the thing is, my personality is the reason my channel is so much bigger than theirs. If they think it's so easy, then tell them to improve their personality so their channel can grow. All right? That's what I got to say on that, guys. So the thing, with, the, the, the thing I want to talk about, guys, is uh, when I say the money... The, 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 when, when I say the money, by and large, if you're not a guy that a woman looks at as something sexually appealing to her, and you know you just she, you just knock her off physically, or you don't have that personality, outside of what you can provide for her, and that's gonna be ninety percent of you guys. What else? What else you want me to say? That's going to be 90% of you guys. Bottom line, that is the hand you dealt. What else you want me to say? If this little short guy who's crying and complaining, had he been on his grind, I guarantee you he ain't somebody who got making the good money and, and well established. I guarantee you he probably works some crappy job. He probably doesn't get out and socialize. All right, guys? So that's why I want you guys doing the self-improvement. I'm not here to kid around with none of you guys. I'm never going to do it. If you're somebody that just go out and get money, but you don't work on yourself physically, well, then it's going to be one of these situations where the woman always have a headache. So that's why I still want you guys, you know, not just depending on money. I want you guys to improve your body to become sexually desired as much as possible because even if you go out and get a woman and use money, she won't hardly ever want to sleep with you. This is when you're going to hear she got a headache every night. A lot of you guys hear this and you wonder why. She don't find you physically attractive. You disgust her. That's why. All right? So, guys, I'm here just to be honest with you guys. Life's not fair. If you're short, yes, you're about dealt a bad hand. But let me tell y'all guys something. If you get on your grind and stuff like this, we as men all the way up to the, say you don't get, say you 35 right now. And let's say you live to you 70. I got women right now that are 35 that are frustrated that they can't find a man that want to be in a relationship. Do y'all guys understand that? Frustrated. They didn't want to have a relationship 10, 15 years ago. Now that they 35, 40, now they hollering about a relationship. And this is when y'all hear a lot of these women online talking about they dating with a purpose. They date because now they frustrated. See, a lot of the older women, guys, the same way y'all see this guy frustrated, it's the same way I see a lot of older women 34, 35, frustrated that men with their stuff together don't want to get in a relationship with them. All right? It ain't that they can't find a man. It's that usually a 35, 40-year-old man usually don't want a relationship because now I can play the field. And that's when y'all hear all this dating with a purpose and hashtag dating with a purpose. One day with a purpose when she was 25, but now she's 35, washed up, now she's dating with a purpose. And they don't throw little tantrums in the store like this. But that's when y'all see all these older women on these Instagram posts mad and frustrated. And talking about some, you know, we F boys and all this, that, and other. The reason they do that, guys, is because now that they frustrated that no man 
with his stuff together wants to be in a relationship. All right. So everything comes in a circle, guys. All right. But that's what I got to say about that, guys. Get on the self-improvement. Get your stuff. Don't pay attention to these dating coaches, man. They're only, listen, they only interested in selling y'all programs. That's all they're interested in. If you read my book, what my book is mainly about, self-improvement, to become the highest value man that you possibly can. So you can attract women, because if, if, if you don't have the charisma, all right, if you don't have the charisma and you weren't blessed with it, I'm telling you right now, do what you want. I am telling you right now, you probably would never get it. It probably would improve a little bit, but you probably would never get it. I'm just being flat out honest, guys. I don't know what else to tell you, all right? The self-improvement will improve your confidence and charisma uh, a little bit, but even then, you capped. All right, if if Carl Lewis started training you to run, do you think you ever run it faster than him? Y'all guys don't think Shaq ever worked on his free throws? Y'all don't ever think he worked on his free throws? The man worked on his free throws. He just he just didn't have the skill set to shoot them. And some of you guys don't have the charisma to use. That to attract women. I don't know what else to say, man. Y'all can take it the way you want to. And like I tell you, any dating coach you get on here and say that calling you a beta male because you're trying to use money, you tell them, hey, AMS said, well, why don't you uh, improve your personality so you can get more views? Since they think that it's so easy to do, you tell them to do it. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Holla.